just a girl who wants to know where I stand. Hello. Hi. Hey. I've got a question. I have a question. So, people say I'm ugly. Tell me. Am I? Tell me. Am I ugly? I don't I don't think I look very good. I just don't look pretty on photos. I like like to see how others see me and being pretty means practically everything to me. I don't I think ugly girls do get judged. Everyone else is just so much prettier than me and if that's the case then I must not be pretty because I don't know, I just do. I don't think I look very good. What can I improve? Beautiful is celebrities. Beautiful is makeup and hair and everything that goes with that. I just want to be perfect. Is there not anything I can improve? I'd love to look like Kylie Jenner. I didn't think she looked very pretty before when she had really thin lips, but now that she's like filled them in, I think she's just perfect. What is beauty and what's the fascination about beauty is, is like our internal, external, forever question that we always, uh, we just keep looking for. And, and it, yeah, it, for me, what beauty is, it changes every day. And really depending on what I, what I see, what I'm interested in, you know, people I meet, uh, music that I listen to, that can inspire different things. And sometimes I, I go for something really ugly that makes, uh, that I find beautiful or something uh, unexpected that, I don't, it, it really depending on the mood. And I've just been trying to find the answer for the last few years. Um, and I think that's, I think, I, yeah, just by keep trying and exploring and and having different um, experiments with photo shoots and, and models. It's funny, I mean, even the use of the word beauty, I mean, it's like, it's such a generic word. I mean, I don't know if it has very much meaning, actually. I believe it is the personality that makes someone more beautiful. Uh, Kate Moss, a character, makes her beautiful. I know a lot of people like, like to put makeup on, like to do a lot of things, but, but sometimes when people are very normal, they just like jump in the water, come out, and they look, that's where they look the best. You know, I mean, like, there's no rules for beauty as well, right? There's no rules. With the job we do, like, you know, we play, we play with so much artifice to get somewhere that, to get so, to a place where, that we call beautiful. Or, it's one thing, but like, honestly, I mean, like, it's, it's all about the character. My beauty is, if I can say one word about my beauty that would describe it, it acceptance. I never knew I would look different until I went to school. Acceptance. I never saw nobody else that looked like me until I was probably about seven to eight years old. I never knew that I looked different until other kids asked me, what's wrong with your skin? And I'm like, what are they talking about? It's beyond the skin. I remember just like seeing this girl, Julie. She had albinism. albinism. It was just like, looking at a mirror. I was always teased by kids, you know. If it wasn't the albinism, it was like, just random. Why do you have eye shake? People are already looking at you. God, fuck. Give them something great to look at. Why are you wearing those pants? Like, everything about me was just automatically different. Dancing, dancing in the living room to Michael Jackson. Rewind, forward, stop. For like a whole like two hours. I used to like have my moments where, yeah, kids would get to me. Oh, you're poisonous. You're disease. You have AIDS and faggot, mistake, devil, or freak. When we are afraid, we pull back from life. Hollywood. Hollywood.
Everything has to be perfect. This perception of what they call presentable. I've never seen nothing like you before. They told me, you know, we want you to get bigger. We want you to get stronger. The vision that they have for people to accept is bogus. It has to be broken. The beauty disease explores the good, the bad, and the ugly obsession with beauty in the 2020s.